Good morning everybody, we Paddy from Across the Shock and uh, as you see from the title it's a, a shred knife which I don't have many, I think I've had one on the channel but this is the second one, I thought this was really interesting and I just wanted to buy it from a collection. So before that you've seen the title, some exciting news, well it's exciting to me and it kept me awake most of the night last night. Um, Ray from Everyday City Carry, if you're not subscribe to Ray you have to go over to it. Ray has a style all of his own and at the minute he's doing something that I think is brilliant for the community. He's interviewing uh, YouTube creators, you know, anybody with a YouTube channel and he's um, given them sort of a half an hour to an hour and they're just having an informal chat. They're opening up questions to people. He does it in the media. I don't know how to do that sort of thing but so there'll be questions and uh, you just sit for half an hour to an hour and have a chat about your collecting, maybe a bit about yourself, whatever. Um, I'm not sure what the questions will be and neither is uh, Ray, so that's great. So I'll put a link to Ray's channel. Go over and just give him a view if you would. Really, really, it would please me if you do because Ray started about the same time as me. We sort of came around that same time and it's lovely to see people who are staying the pace because it, it can be quite difficult for a lot of channels, maybe not getting as many subs as they should have. But Ray is a great dude and he's doing this podcast and it goes in all different forms of where podcasts go again past party I have no idea but I was really honoured that he asked me to do the podcast I'm from a wee island on the other side of the shock that's not really a big knife community but to be asked was just honestly it really humbled me and, and I'm really looking forward to it so I'm doing that tonight with him um, today being Wednesday I think yeah I don't know when it's going to be publicised but I'll let you know on YouTube and Instagram whenever the the podcast goes out not sure at all when it goes out I think he does a slight bit of editing to it so there you go that's exciting now let's get on to the knife we're talking about it's a charade mariner lever lock with a saw cut uh, it's a derlin bone it's not real bone it's derlin but it's saw cut and it's quite attractive, I have to say. It's like a mocha coffee-coloured bone. Really quite attractive. Brass ends and stainless steel. Um, there we go. Look at this for a weapon. Look at that. That's a marlin spike. And for those of you who don't know, I was a sailor. So this sort of appealed to me for that, that alone. This is the, the sort of shape and size of knives that sailors would have had on ship. Now, they were non-locking at the time. And I think this may, this can't be UK legal as in a UK legal carry. But if it's in a toolbox or you're a sailor and you're out sailing, whatever, I, mean, I know there's not many sailors about, but, you know, as a toolbox tool, this is absolutely just first class. This locks, can you imagine the damage if you were having to break anything up or poke anything? Untie knots, it's sharp enough that even paracord, you can undo paracord knots. I mean, it's just an, an absolutely beautiful. And if you can see the way it's tilted, it nearly brings it in line. So if you wanted to break through anything, you, you can do it with this. Really good. The lever lock on top, you pull that back and it just breaks the lock. And there you go. There's a set and you put that over the top. I just think it's an amazing work tool. Here's the blade that's on it. Look at that sheep's foot. Again, back to that old sailor shape. They used to bat baton on the gunnels to chop, you know, chop through thick rope and whatever. As a rope worker, this would be an ideal knife for somebody like uh, Big Red EDC who works with rope quite a lot in his normal day job. But Anybody who hard uses, it's actually incredibly comfortable in hand. With this lovely shape here, it really fills your hand completely, very, very secure. And a, just a heavy duty work knife, really is. Let's have a look at the, I'm not going to measure this bit because that's not part of the knife. So I'm going to measure now. One, two, three. It's a four inch handle, which is perfect. And you've got a three inch blade, just under a three inch blade with a cutting edge of two and a half inches. So even as a, an EDC standard, that's a good size. But this is not what I would consider something you would use for EDC. This is quite clumbersome. This is for me, it's something to leave in a yard if you're going to do that. You know, if you want to, Clear paving stones up the centre of paving stones. That's a great tool for it. This blade is unlocking. 
Um, and it's a shame because the old knives, the boys, the sailors used to have at sea. And when I say sailors, these are the boys that looked after the upper deck and all the ropes and the that side of, of seamanship. Theirs wouldn't have been locking. They were just big knives like this. And I'm sure you've seen them on uh, other channels. But this, because it's locking, you know, grouting, anything like that there, you can think of a numerous amount of uh, uses for this pick. Getting them between your, your paving stones to give them a clean out or there's a blockage. Um, absolutely. Even just as a penetrating tool, you know, to, to go through. Uh, God, even a piece of wood. That would go through most wood if you twisted that. And the fact that it's locking and you're going to be using force with it is really, really useful because you would not want that sticking into you. The blade is just a slip joint. There's no problem. It's quite a good pull on it. Um, it's got that ha that kick there, which I think is always important. So it's not going to close on you. It's going to hit your finger first. Absolutely unusual, but... <clears throat> I know them because I've seen them in use and I know how useful they are. And that Marlin spike, I know how useful that can be for so many tasks. The sailors used it for anything and everything. Um, even going through plastic, you want to put a hole in a belt or plastic, anything like that. <clears throat> and this is an expensive knife. This at the moment is on Heine Haynes for £25. And I'm sure Charade, it's across America. It's probably cheaper than that in America. But for what you're getting, and the blade steel on it is 7CR17 high carbon stainless steel, which is all right. Do you know what I mean? It is all right, and it sharpens easily, which is a great thing for a work knife, I truly believe. But what's this out of the box? I cut this just before we started to see what it was like. Listen to that. Isn't that just... Listen. That is a really, really good edge put on a budget knife. So, well done, Charade. I think they've made a lovely job of it. It's brass end caps here, and the, the lever is brass. So, you've got a knife that's, to me, let's see how weird it is. It does feel a bit weighty, but not, I don't think this is a knife. Well, you can actually put it in a belt pouch. I think that's the way I would carry it if I was going to carry it on me. But I would be throwing this into the toolbox, into the back of the car, you know, in your, your driving seat or whatever. Just as an, although I have to be careful in your laws in your country. Always abide by the laws in the country. Let me just see. 4.6, so it's not bad for for what you're getting, for the lump of steel that you're getting on that Marlin spike alone. Do you know what I mean? Listen to that, how secure that is. That's not going to come loose in your pocket, trust me. That is just... If you do put that in your pocket, but I think a belt sheath would be the perfect way to carry it if you were going to carry it. If you're going sailing or you're going out in the woods or something like that and you want a knife to take with you. I mean, you can prize anything. I, I just, to me, it's definitely, it's going to stay in my collection. It's a lovely, heavy duty knife with a big sheep's foot. And it's just, it just looks like you want to go to work with it. But I can't believe how comfortable this makes this in hand. That's a full four finger grip. And I'm inside this lever lock. A full, I have a medium large hand. I am going to the fat of my fingers. And I have a full four finger grip that is very comfortable. Nothing sticking into me whatsoever. Absolutely lovely. Really nice bit of, bit of kit. Now, who else can I think that is for? Well, I'll tell you what. You come up with ideas down below and tell me where you would use it or uses you think you could find for a Marlin spike that are not sailing related. I was saying grouting in between um, your patio tiles if you want to clear them out. Just a perfect tool. A perfect tool for that sort of work. Let me know down below what you think it could be used for uh, and what you would use it for. That's more important, what you would use it for. A £25, it's just a great work knife. I would throw it in the toolbox. I would throw it in your backyard shed. Again, just for anything around the house or around the, the garden. I think it's an ideal tool and for not a lot of money. And you'll get a couple of pounds off it if you use the Heine Haynes code, which is always down below in all my videos now. You'll get the code for Heine Haynes and you get 7% off everything, unless it's on sale. So what do you think? Do you like it? I, I genuinely am quite excited. And I know it's a cheap knife, but I do like a cheaper knife. But you're getting with Charade, you're getting a big company that backs it. So it's although it's a cheap knife, it's not a cheap knife, if that makes any sense. It's well made. The blade is ground extremely sharp. 
and it sharpens easy. You've got a Marlin spike there. You can poke do do whatever you like with that. There's so many jobs. I'm dying to see what sort of things you come up with that you would use this for around the house, at work, whatever. So, there we go. It's quick and down and dirty, but that's the sort of knife it is. This is not the, your little pretty knife you're going to put in your pocket. It's not a pocket dropper. <laughs> it's just not. There's no clip. But I would put it in the wee belt sheet. Look, you can buy a belt sheet for 2 or $3 on uh, AliExpress just to keep it in for when you want to use it if you're out working in the shed or the back garden. I do. I genuinely believe that's a perfect little knife for around the house. There we go, the Charade Mariner liner lock with a saw cut Delrin blade. She's put flat ground, just a, a, a perfect do all about the house knife, toolbox knife. There you go, if you haven't got one, if you haven't got a toolbox knife, there's your first go at it. Let me know what you think if you order it. Again, please order through Heine Haynes. And that's it, I'm away. I hope you enjoyed that wee bit of news. I'm really looking forward to the podcast tonight, although I'm a bit nervous. A bit nervous because it's uh, it's out of my realm of things to do. Although, let me tell you, I always say I'm a technophobe. I set up, um, what do you call that thing we're going to talk through? Skype. I set that up by myself yesterday. So I'm, that's a pat on my back. I've never done something like that. Normally I wait for Sally to do it or one of the kids. So there you go. I'm getting better. Take care, folks. I'm away. Look after yourselves, look after each other, and more importantly, stay bloody indoors. Take care. Paddy's away for a cup of tea. Bye now.